Once the child has been taught how to participate in the screening and the headphones are positioned properly, it is time to perform the screening. Arizona's hearing screening rules require students to be screened at three pitches or frequencies, 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000 hertz. The volume level during the screening must be set and remain at the 20 decibel level during all tone presentations. You'll screen the right ear first and then the left. First, be sure the child is faced away from you so that they cannot see your hand movements or facial expressions either directly or in reflection. Confirm that the audiometer is set to play a steady tone in the right ear. Before starting the actual screening tones, you will play a reference tone to make sure the child knows what to listen for and how to respond. This needs to be at a louder volume than the screening tones so it is easier to hear. Set the frequency to 1000 Hz and the decibel level to 60 decibels. Remind the child how to listen for the tone and make the desired response. Once the student has responded to the reference tone, it is time to begin the screening tone. Switch the intensity dial to 20 decibels. Starting with the right ear, play the tone for one to two seconds and mark the student's response or non-response. Even if the student responds right away, you'll always need to present the tone again and watch for the response as a reliability check. Vary the length of the tone presentation and the intervals between tone presentations to make sure that the child is actually responding to the sound and not just guessing or repeating the behavior. As soon as the child makes two correct responses, you can move on to the next frequency. If the student does not respond to the tone, you can present it a maximum of four times at a particular frequency. Do not increase the volume or change the tone type. Even if the child does not make two correct responses at a particular frequency, Continue on with the screening at other frequencies. Go through all three tones, 1000, 2000, and 4000 Hz. Present each tone, watching for the child's response or non-response. Document the screening results at each pitch for the right ear. The child needs to provide the expected response two times out of four possible tone presentations in order to pass on that pitch on that ear. Now change the tone location to the left ear. Set the frequency to 2000 Hz and raise the volume to 60 decibels. Remind the child to listen and now present the tone. It doesn't matter if the child makes the response using the right or left hand. Remember, this teaching tone is not part of the screening. It simply prompts the child to listen for the tone in the left ear and to make the desired response. If the child is able to make the desired response, set the decibel level back to 20 decibels and start the screening on the left ear using the same process used on the right ear. Make sure to screen all three frequencies 1000, 2000, and 4000 Hz. Document the results at each frequency for the left ear when the process is complete. If the child made two correct behavioral responses at each frequency for each ear, the child passed the screening. If the child made less than two correct responses at any frequency on either ear, the child did not pass. If a child does not pass, you need to conduct a rescreen between 10 and 30 school days in the future. You'll rescreen using the same type of equipment and screening process as the initial screening.